Hey guys, Whale Pants here. We're going to talk to you about not how to keep score, but how to take your score at the end of the round. This has been a problem uh, across all divisions. We've seen it uh, at the Pro Division last year. Um, and a, at a lot of the amateur events that we've run, we've seen people who just don't count their score up. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes we see is people asking, what is par? Um, it really only means it's just, how many times did you throw? That's your total score. We want to help you find some ways to get them right. So, I'm going to start with Ewick. Um, how I like to score it is by counting how many strokes above par I had and how many strokes under par I had. Now, I'm classifying everything as a par 3. Now, I'm not calling, oh, well, that's a par 4, so on this many strokes. Everything is a par 3. 18 total holes times 3 is 54. So, in understanding that, I know that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 strokes over par minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 strokes under par will total me a 54. And I know that that 54 will be whatever it is for the tournament. If the course par is 61, then I'm 7 under. But I just know that I threw the disc 54 times. Um, and it works even with bigger numbers. Uh, so we would count 1, 2, 3, 4 and minus 1. So spout was 3 over at a 57. And you can continue going. So we have a 54 here and a 50. 7 here. And this also works when doing front nines and back nines because then you just count off of 27. That's how I like to do my score. Helps me. Um, honestly, honestly, it's been a great way for me to learn how to count and um, make sure that I get it right. Uh, another way to think about it is if you have 21 holes, uh, it's 64. And if you just keep counting like that all the way up to 27, we're at 71. Very, very easy stuff. Helps me get my scorecard right, and hopefully that'll help you guys. Okay, mine's not really that different from Eric's, but um, I guess I just count straight from 54. So like he said, par does not matter. If you played, it, it's the easiest way to keep track to me, is completely disregarding par and calling everything a par 3, like he said. So when you're totaling up your scorecard, the only math you really need to do is how many holes did you play, and multiply that by three. So 18 holes times three is 54. And like he said, if you play 21, then you just add that many extra uh, par threes. So let's start there. And then Eric adds up the numbers over par themselves. I personally start with the number that is par. So I'll take 54 as my par, and I'll start with my bogeys and go 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and then I'll subtract the birdies, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54. So we both came to the same number using the same strategy, but for me I just like to start with that base number no matter what. Um, let's uh, skip Spout since she beat me, and go 54 as my baseline, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 59, 58. Um, it's just easy to keep it, keep it simple, completely disregard your pars. You're gonna get really confused if you don't know what's a par four, what's a par three. Um, it's easier to just keep track just with a baseline par three for every hole. Uh, don't be shy when it comes to counting your score. Everybody starts in the same spot. It can be challenging. Just make sure that you do turn in the right score. Um, I used to take out a calculator, don't be afraid to do that. Um, if you really need to uh, use that manual method, please do. Uh, just make sure you're getting the right score in. Another thing to do is have your card mates check. Have other people around who you trust to count your score. Um, that is a great way to find any inconsistencies, and you can actually get better by counting more scorecards. So triple check, quadruple check, because the last thing you want to do is take two strokes at the end of your round. It's definitely cost me some placing, so mm -hmm. be cautious. Yep. Uh, as always, go check out our platforms on social media from Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Patreon. Mm -hmm. um, and as always, 
the dynamic. The dynamic. 